sight was an absolute jungle. It was totally overgrown. It had been neglected for over a decade. There had been no work done whatsoever. Uh, the weeds had grown, the trees had self-seeded, and uh, it, it was totally inaccessible. We formed a bit of a task force, for want of a better word, and we arrived at the gate with a few tools and started hacking and slashing and one thing and another and we've been doing it ever since. The teamwork is absolutely brilliant. <laughs> and you've, you've accomplished so much here yeah, because of that. Yeah. You obviously work really well yeah, together. It's, it's, it's coming together now. You can see what all the, the three and a half years work we've done. You can, it's coming together now. of the things you notice when you look around uh, the memorials is the number of mining accidents that were sadly. Uh, the other thing is that of the 2,900 people that are buried here, half of them are children. So that tells you the sort of social uh, circumstances of the time. It's very sad really when you read some of the headstones and you see the absolute you know, six months old, one year old, one, two years old. And out of all the graves in here, over 1,500 are actually of people who were actually under 16 years of age. And of course, there is still a lot of people in Prudhoe with relatives buried in here, so we can now make it accessible. Fantastic when you think when we first came in here, it was basically a jungle. It, it, it's amazing to see how much work is being done and how brilliant it looks now. Yeah.